Did you guys see that? Did you, like a couple of seconds ago, did you see that ad? <laughs> guys, we're monetized. The babes and the babettes have been monetized. <laughs> So exciting, so so exciting. Um, so this is my first video post monetization. Okay, happy, re, I see me happy, I see me happy, Madonna. And um, basically today's video is going to be when well, all my school stuff is here, guys. School is adorable. My this video is going to be a hot dog pizza, a muk, a muk bang, a muk banging on some sushi. Okay. Let me show you to you guys. I know that usually like mukbangs people have like a lot of food But I didn't want to do that because I know myself and I'm not one to I'm not one to like eat large portions of food at the same time Damn balla. So I just decided to get some sushi And today's conversation we're just gonna chat I'm gonna sit down and chat with you guys But today guys we're gonna I'm gonna tell you guys just about my Marabila experience yeah, yo! I think it's really chopsticks. Ah. And please, um, one thing about me, I had never used chopsticks like chopsticks. I had never used chopsticks until until recently when I came to La Laha Mama Sadinyan. Did I show you guys what it looks like open? That's oh, I feel like it's not focusing. Is it focusing? That's the shoe shay. That's the show show shay. Guys, I missed you guys so much. I know I disappeared for so long. So I mixed the wasabi with the soy sauce. Oh, oof. wow. This is soy sauce. Oh, I actually don't know the stuff. I just be saying the fluke with the fluke. Hampa, <gasps> guys, this is actually so. How do people do this? Uh, I dropped like I literally dropped half the wasabi like. You see, that's the thing with like boom, with your mug bungling. You need to be such an organized girly. Like, don't be like me. I was initially at LKC, right? Um, cause I don't know. I was initially at LKC a week later. Um, when I'm still in the school, I'm acclimatizing, and I could already feel that age. This atmosphere is not really what I want for my post secondary school experience you know what i mean because it, it it just felt like more secondary they had really strict regulation rules and regulations regarding piercings and if you know me i'm such a piercing girly like the days where i wake up and i just have like i'm insane i'm just like piercing every part of my body and it's just what i'm feeling at the time they have regulations regarding hair like you can't have dyed hair and at the time i was a blondie and um they want you to wear like loose uniform and always have your blazer on so you can and everything i'm saying is literally how um high school was for me and i'm like ish that second week i get a call from that lovely lady where the front office if you know her you know her she calls me she's like hey that's a trumpo are you gonna be a boarder and at this time i'm a boarder in lkc i live in the lkc boarding house this woman is asking me if i'm gonna be a boarder I'm like, hey, <laughs> what are we talking about, Nj? She's like, hey, like a rapula, are you going to be a boarder? I'm like, what? What do you mean, Kima rapula? I'm like, yeah, 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 I'd love to board. She's like, okay, okay, well, well I'm going to send you this is through the email when we're moving in. I'm like, oh, have I been accepted to map? She's like, hey, what, what the? She's like, hey, hey, now I ring. And I, it was just so crazy. I remember screaming calling my mom and on that very day that's when i dropped out of lkc <laughs> i didn't even think so like, i never even like anticipated how how different my life is going to be just because i school at marabula it got to the point where i get it during the holidays if if you're a boarder you go back home like to your mom's house or whatever you go back to, i lived in a, i lived in Mushu, i lived in the village so hey they're gonna kill me they're gonna be like what am is a village? I lived in the town. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I lived in Muchidi and obviously when you talk to strangers and like they ask you, oh, where did you school? Oh God. I was always so scared of asking me, of people asking me this question because they'll be like, okay, so where did you school? And I'd know, I'd know her age after I answer this question. This, this person is going to see me so differently. So like if I go to the mall or like where people print stuff, 
I'd go in and then they'd be like, oh, like, what's on a guy? And I'd take a deep breath first. I'd be like, Marabul. Yo! There'll be like a bit of silence. A bit of silence. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey! Banabadi Raisi! Banabadi Raisi! Oh, God. <laughs> and then that's when it starts. Like, I remember one time when I was actually at the caravan in Muchudi. I had gone to print like staff name. I had to print some papers and I answered the question where do you school? I was like, um, Marabu. I think the guy then wanted to ask for my number. And then I I kindly respectfully just declined. I was like like no, right? Without and I was like, oh god. Even like <laughs> I never even knew like people who are close to me. People who are close to me started using that <laughs> quite often. I have a friend who lives like near my near where I live in Muchidi, like a very very close friend of mine. Love him. I don't know if I can say his name. Shout out to Lame, Lame and Dylan. So like every time I chill with them, I hope like like aluminum map. Oh god. And it's just stuff I never really expected, but like it comes with it. It's like the school has so much weight, you know. The school's name really, really has a reputation and you just being an alumni to that place, when I come in from a place where not a lot of people like have the privilege to go to a school of such caliber, you get quite a lot of attention for it and knowing my mom my mom loved to boast about it like my mom would just be like when i get when I go to the camera, I'm <laughs> so that's something so watch out for that it's like answering that question is just going to start changing people's perception of you and everybody's gonna start assuming you're like super wealthy and that's really not the case like Honestly, like if ever you are going to like a shop and the person is very very chatty and they end up asking you where you score Make sure you purchase whatever you want to purchase first before you answer that question Because the moment you ask the question everybody's gonna assume like you're mad wealthy But the whole time you're just you're just the village girl on a scholarship. So it's so crazy Oh So one thing about Mirabula It's that like it's very distinct in the sense that the diversity in the school is a diversity that I've never experienced before in like schools that I went to prior to that. 99.9% .9 of the students in my secondary school were completely just black but at the time when I schooled there. So I go into my Rapula and it's a shock of a lifetime. There's so many different colors in J. There's like, I'm like, hello. There's, there's so much variety and it's so odd it's like there's not just variety in in obviously ethnicity or like whatever there's a lot of variety <laughs> there's a lot of variety in terms of character and personality like you'd be walking around the school then some some asian guy is playing the guitar under the tree just casually at break time some kids are doing a, a holding hands you have a couple under under like by the benches by the l classes like making out and it's just like i'm like i remember just thinking i've i've only seen this on television like you know so like i think one thing also another thing that was quite a shock for me is that like Marabula is so comfortable with public displays of affection guys i remember in high school i once one time one time in class i i sat on on some guy's lap i know that's so i don't know why i did that but i did it like i just randomly sat on a friend it was a friend of mine i think i don't know if i should keep name dropping people it's so weird but I sat on his lap and then this teacher came and the friend the teacher was like like hey I don't yeah this is public indecency <laughs> public in what are you doing and then I go to Marapula people are cuddling people are cuddling in the streets people are kissing holding hands and it's just like yeah it's just public display of affection and I'm like raw okay and it's so cool i just i found that so interesting that like an atmosphere can just 
can just can just be so so comfortable and so allowing you know and one thing about this entire indoctrination of students and wanting them to act a certain way dress a certain way it's it makes everyone's character so similar like as much as sure we have variations overall but you go to the school and you realize like everybody really just is doing their own thing and i remember that's that's the first time i got inspiration to start my business that actually like blew up so much and at the time i before that i, I was always like what do you mean Kempo? you're a teenager there's no way you're gonna start a business like who's gonna support you what are you gonna say to your parents i go to marabula i realize well these kids are so free-spirited and they're so they're so like what's the word a pragmatic like how about we're gonna do something if they want to be artists if they want to be um rappers if they want to do this they do it like the the wheels are always in motion like there's there's an endless array of possibility for them and that thing like really i adopted that and i was like Kampo, you know what f the age f your age f everything else start pierced by a princess and then i started it i started it and let me tell you guys i think yo it's the game in the sun like sun Kira up almost more than a thousand pula per day on a business that I started. Jo, I remember like buying my mom stuff and I really just felt so independent. And this was like a mentality that just that was born from being in an atmosphere of people who were so just just so I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but you get what I'm saying. I remember wanting to start a TikTok. Okay, I never wanted to start a TikTok. My friend influenced me to start my TikTok. But every time I thought of doing something, <gasps> mm, I'd be like, Yo, I get me you know? But now, I'm like, bro, I'm surrounded by people who don't care. They re Those kids really do whatever the fuck they want to do. If they want to come to school with whatever color of hair, if they want to come to school wearing this and that, they do it. And I'm like, come on. What are you waiting for? Like, if your TikTok flops, your TikTok flops. If your business flops, your business flops. But do it. At least you can say it flopped. And these are like things that literally made me who I am today. Like when people meet me in Botswana and they're like, oh my God, I really enjoy your content and this and this and this. Or people call me up, they're like, oh my God, could you please pierce me? That started from just being in an environment that is so unique and so conducive and so allowing for artistic explorative minds oh that's cool but you know i'm very passionate about this particular thing because it's something that i never felt in the old schools that i went to it's also one thing that i i always used to pray for a really huge 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 prayer of mine was for me to be surrounded by like-minded people because if you know me i'm such a free spirit like and also like at times in high school where i was super super focused and academically driven but i there were times where i was surrounded by by people like i'd be in a class where it's very integrated and some people are just not as serious i get very frustrated and i remember praying to god i'm like god i really want to be surrounded by like minds people who know when to play when to focus and once i got to, i was in a middle six class with 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 19 other insanely bright minds you know that was a prayer answered for real and these people they were not boring characters they were not at all they were that th they were really their own people but they knew when to be serious and Hey guys, with the school of city. Mm -mm. They knew exactly when to be serious, and I think that was very motivational. Even when you personally feel demotivated, you can absorb so much motivation just from your neighbor. Like it's a big little boarding house and you feel like I'm bora. Like I don't feel like studying. Just taking a walk around the campus. I don't know. If, yeah, the campus because you know the campus is very rejuvenating and map. So I must be serious. I must go fight the fight the battle. I'm just like that. Your motivation is back, and I love that about that place. 
No, go no re. Ha wa go shawara. O ba botle. Ha ra go shawara mo boarding housing. Ba thoba te ba tsoga ka ma 2am ba ma 3am ba go shawara. Ba ta downstairs ko boarding housing ba di shawaring. O fthela thompo mo na kharola boka buka mo mo ta foleng tso. Thompo, ha o suro ba le. Ke botla go lebella re. Khate you sleep when you you rest you rest ngwa nak. The academic drive in that boarding house is ridiculous and that's one thing that people don't talk about enough oh god it says who the holy holy departing and i can't know what's in your corner with the departing and because of one of a border kayana there'll be some groove some party some bride we sort of know probably this is the day everybody's relaxing like everybody's going to chill everybody's going to chill in the pool ah how's it like a hammer now with telebasari mona Everybody is chilling. Everybody's relaxing. What are you doing? She's like, hey, Mona, you rest, you rest. Oh, God. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Hey, I'm going sushi. Hey, I'm going to chopstick. Chopstick, I'm taking. It looks so horrible. Please, guys, don't judge me. Oh, it will. It's falling apart. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mm -mm. Scrum dilly yum yum my purple I won't even lie to you it took me a while a really 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 long time to find my people so my chat is you find other students who are already in sixth form but these people have been together ever since the beginning of of high school so like as much as oh my god there were such sweet souls it's very impossible to infiltrate friend groups that are that strong. You realize that everybody's just in motion, like mole mole, it just gel together, and it's very easy for you to feel outside. But that's why I love the boarding house because the types of relationships you make in that boarding house are like no other. Guru, the funny thing is how Zena into A level, or rather going into me personally, gets in the boarding house. I felt like wow I've graduated you know senior school like I'm so grown geez once you graduate from the boarding house you realize wow like I was such a child there's a lot of privilege that comes with being at map such as obviously the cafeteria we have being a boarder you have a love-hate relationship with that cafeteria because <laughs> there are times where they cook there's this chicken I remember they used to make this chicken and we love we would eat up that chicken and then there are times where they make food that's just like <laughs> every single individual in that cafeteria had a full chicken of their own and then you're sort of like wow and it, it's looking gorgeous hey it's looking gorgeous you're ready to feast how are you No cafeteria you really just develop a love-hate relationship with it I think the turning point of cafeteria time of my cafeteria experience was the diarrhea yeah I don't even need to say anything more if you know you know the diarrhea have at home we kill our gotta collectively as an organization as as a family in the boarding house we all got diarrhea every single person very interesting going for seconds going for thirds going for fourths 10 past four yeah those were the times also just like as much as we liked to complain about like the entertainment that we get as boarders in the boarding house I don't remember anything. snake. <laughs> like there's no way but like these are memories you make and these memories are the ones that really attach you to these people and form absolutely lifelong relationships like i wouldn't have the friends i have right now the people i am so in love with like 
Bora ta shout out to Tabile H. That's my that's my as she's known. Grandpa she's known ever since the first day she saw me. Or hey, that's gonna be my baby. And she's my baby for real. Like as much as it's gonna take time for you to really find your people, but once you find them, they're your people for good. To throw that so and it's really all thanks to the boarding house, you know, because those two years go so fast. Oh, they go so quick. They go so quick. Happen. I like that the boarding house has some form of lineage. Good house and a boarding house thing. What the hotel are the people who were in the boarding house before you? Like, but they were like, oh, can you guys replace this group of people? And they were like, this, they were like, this, they were like. So once you come to the UK and then you get to meet these exact people that these people were talking about, it feels as if you guys were just. Somebody's looking at me recording like <laughs> It really just starts feeling like you guys are just one huge family I can't believe I forgot to talk about the highlights One of the most like the biggest highlights of being there is Whereby you'd have like if we have like events ne? If you'd have events like events being held And you have like these really big people um, influential people in Botswana coming to Maitiso because Maitiso is so popular. It was the time Visa View came. I remember ATI. ATI came. Um, Kwesan. Kwesan was there and performed. And you get to experience these people for absolutely free. For free. Just because you live in camp uh, on campus, you live in the boarding house, and you you, you literally can walk to the Maitiso Hall. Oh, guys. So people who ask me, Kampa, would you recommend boarding? It is so tumult. It's a tumultuous journey. Like it has so many ups, it has so many downs. But overall, once you get out of there, you realize, wow, I would not trade that experience for anything. Like it was so fun. I remember being so close to the LM6s, like Harabala Rilmotafle Mo Rira di jokes. Rilimu Dumo. Yo! Rilimu Dumo. But it's just like we just develop this love for one another over time because Lord let us end those premises together. I actually have so much schoolwork to do guys and thank I also have to really 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 thank you guys so much for the support and for the love because hi Nesikalona, this girly would not be monetized. So I love you to the death of me.